Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be teaching you my skincare routine. So we're going to be talking about my daytime skincare routine and my nighttime skincare routine. It is not too much but I am... I say it's not too much. My nighttime is a little much. My daytime is like super simple. I feel like you guys will like this. This is super realistic, super doable. I'm not doing like a 17 step routine because I'm gonna be honest, I'm a betch on the go and I don't have enough time because I need time to myself, to go to work, to sleep, to, I don't know, you know? There's just a lot. Enjoy life, enjoy the beach, enjoy the summer, what's left of it, you know? And I got a pack for Italy. It just, it's, there's a lot going on. So I'm keeping it realistic. Subscribe. I would love to have you. Um, I love beauty products. I love makeup. I like just sharing about all the things that I do for myself that make me feel good. So if that sounds interesting to you, um, subscribe, click the bell. I think you and I will really get along. We can become good friends. This video was a requested video by one of my subscribers. Shout out, love a good like request because I know someone is interested in it. So let's start off with my nighttime skincare routine. I don't care. I feel like when you think of the order, it should be day and then night, but we're gonna do night and then day. I talk about this all the time. I'm sure you're all sick of me sick of me talking about it but the pharmacy green clean melt away cleansing balm holy hell i love it it retails for 34 dollars. it lasts a really long time i use like the smallest amount and i gotta be honest guys i use this every single day typical work day i throw on some mascara a little bit of concealer blush and that's really it so there's not a lot of makeup on my face but i will use this um i use this when i have a full face of makeup so after today's makeup is done for the day. I will take this off using it. It's so good. It has sunflower and ginger root oil, which removes makeup without stripping, drying, or leaving any residue. It is clean beauty. A lot of the products that I'm going to mention in this routine are clean. I love clean products. I find that they've really made all the difference in my skin. And to be totally completely honest, guys, like this is like my autopilot skincare routine. These are just the products that work for me. I don't even need to think about it. I just... It is what it is, and they really agree with me. It gently exfoliates. It has papaya extract, which helps to retexture the skin and reveal a youthful glow. I guess maybe it's exfoliating. I don't use this with the thought that it's going to help me exfoliate because I use a serious, at least serious in my opinion, exfoliator, which we're going to get to. I really use this to just make sure all my makeup comes off because it's so good and it doesn't strip my skin. I'm someone that has really dry skin. I feel like I should have mentioned this from the beginning, but I have combination leaning way more so dry. So I love a nice oil cleanse, not too stripping. Oh, and it's TSA approved. I didn't know that. So this bad boy has come with me to Italy because I'm going to be there for two weeks and a couple days, I think. And I'm going to need this because I'm going to paint the shit out of my face on my honeymoon because I want to look like I've never looked. Fresh Soy Face Cleanser, talked about this a lot, $38, ridiculous expensive for a cleanser for your face, um, but it's so good. It's gentle, it feels beautiful on the skin. This is a pretty good cleanser. I always recommend an, a cleansing balm, an oil-based cleanser to wash your face off when you're double cleansing first, but this will take a decent amount of makeup off if you double cleanse just using the soy face cleanser. Honestly, on days where I'm not wearing any makeup, I'll skip the cleansing balm and just go in with the soy face cleanser. It just feels really nice. It doesn't make my skin feel like it's thirsty after I wash my face. It just, it's so beautiful. It's pH balanced face wash with amino acid rich soy proteins that melt away makeup, even mascara. Again, it will take your makeup off, but it won't take your makeup off, in my opinion, quite like an oil-based cleanser would. I'm willing to spend my money on this product because it doesn't leave my skin wanting moisture or like more. It really like, leaves me feeling like my skin is balanced, pH balanced. So that's why I will spend the money on it. I would never spend $38 on a cleanser just because it claims to help me with my wrinkles because I really genuinely believe that what will auto-correct that being wrinkles, anti-aging, all that kind of fun stuff really lies in the ingredients within your serum, your eye cream, your face moisturizer, like what's really going to lay on your skin for hours and hours and hours, you know, like something that you put on and wash off, I wouldn't hold it to such high standards just in my opinion. Pharmacy Honeymoon Glow Serum. This is $58. Holy hell. This is a really great exfoliant. I really think my skin looks 
so much younger. Like I just have a really natural, like youthful glow to me when I'm not wearing any makeup because my skin is just so vibrant and glowy and just delicious because I've literally been using this every other night. It does sting, I will not lie to you, okay? You might think I'm a little bit of a pansy. I think I can kind of tolerate a high amount of pain, but you will feel it tingle on your skin. This has 14% AHA, BHA, gentle flower acids, which are the thing that's going to take away the dead skin cells, exfoliate your skin. It's kind of like a peel that you leave on, okay? Think of it like that. Promotes cell renewal, it targets hyperpigmentation, and helps reduce the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. Check, check, check. I really believe that exfoliating your skin is such an important part of anti-aging. If you think about it, it's getting rid of all of those dead skin cells off of your skin so that anything you put on top of it is really gonna penetrate your skin more easily because it doesn't have to fight through dead skin cells. It does claim to have a, a hyaluronic acid hydration factor to it. I don't find this to be hydrating. I will say it's not as drying as other exfoliators that I've used, so I will give it that. However, for me, I need to put something on top of this, and I will leave this on my skin for a good minute, two minutes, before going in with moisturizer. I don't like putting a serum on top of this, so I use this every other night, and then I use this every other night, the nights in between. So this is the Kiehl's Midnight recovery. I don't know if I'm quoting the correct movie, but like, what is it? My big fat Greek wedding where the mom like puts Windex on everything. Like I literally put this on anything and everything. I put this on dry skin. If my skin is acting oily, I put this on top of oily skin. I'll show you a picture of this crazy sunburn that I got. I put this all over and my sunburn was like so much better the next day. So this is just like a holy grail. I bought the huge ass one of this during the Nordstrom sale. I think it's like 120 mil. I don't even know how many ounces it is. It's huge, but I'm gonna use the shit out of it. Formulated with lavender essential oil, which helps to restore skin overnight for radiant, younger looking skin by morning. It just feels so nice. Like it, it gives a sense of relief, like whether your skin needs relief or not. It's very strange, but it's so good. It's paraben-free, silicone-free, alcohol-free, mineral oil-free, um, visibly reduces fine lines, which it genuinely does because it plumps your skin so much. And when you think about it, if you plump an area with hydration that otherwise has lines, like that plumping of the skin is gonna help to fill in those lines just by hydrating your skin. Definitely boosts radiance because it gives such a juicy plump and hydration to the skin. Before I used to use oils on my face at night, I would think like, oh, an oil is too heavy, but it's not like super heavy. It feels really comfortable. Yeah, it's just, it's really good. I can't say enough good things about this. I really think going every other night with these two serums has made like such a difference in my skin. Mollet and Goat's Revitalizing Eye Gel comes with a really convenient pump. I feel mad about it. I have really sensitive under eyes and I feel like for a hot minute there my under eyes were really bothering me and I was getting bumps and I just didn't know like if I should even use an eye cream. At one point I stopped using eye cream. So I feel like I say meh about this but it's really done a lot for me considering I stopped using an eye cream altogether. I think I didn't use one for like two months which is big for me because prior to that I used an eye cream every night and this one just like didn't irritate me at all. I wouldn't say that it combats fine lines like little recipe the avocado retinol on dry mask like that's really great for fine lines this gave me the hydration that i needed because i have really dry skin like right here i kind of get like eczema patches like in my eye socket right here um so i really do need that hydration it's nice for uh, $42 it doesn't give me the like luxury experience but like it doesn't irritate me so that might be why it doesn't irritate me because it's really lacking maybe like fragrance. Like this isn't fragranted, it's really nice. It's antioxidant rich with marine algae extracts to hydrate and replenish moisture, absorbs residue free, natural fragrance and color. So if you're someone that struggles with an eye cream irritating you, definitely try this. I don't love it under makeup, I will say that, but it's not bad, it's not bad, it's not bad. I said meh, but 
at least I can use it. Whereas the other ones were literally like wreaking havoc on my eye skin. A lot of the time after applying the Kiehl's serum, I won't put anything on top of it. I kind of just let this do its thing and it's my primer and my moisturizer all in one. However, on nights where I use the Pharmacy uh, Honeymoon Glow Serum, I definitely need to use a moisturizer. And the moisturizer I've been using lately, which I really think has done an awesome job of like evening out my skin and just keeping it clear and balanced. This is super bougie, but I love this packaging. It's a little heavy for my liking. I feel like there's a lot of like extra nonsense around it that makes it so heavy. This is Cora Organics, their Turmeric Glow Moisturizer. It has turmeric in it, which is said to help with inflammation. If you're acne prone, this will be really good for you. It is pretty scented. It's very sweet. And it kind of smells like turmeric and it is thick. It is a very thick moisturizer, which is why I take the amount I think I'm gonna need and like nothing more. You can always add, but I find like like this can kind of be heavy on the skin and it is pretty scented and the turmeric does kind of irritate my skin because my skin is pretty sensitive at the same time. So I'll take what I need, rub it between my hands, my fingers, and apply that all over. I apply all these things all over, like the Kiehl's Concentrate, put that down my chest. Cora, put that down my neck, down my chest. Anything that goes on my face goes on my chest. I feel like I just need to clarify that. Would I buy it again? Probably. This has been my go-to lip product for everything. I don't know. I just, I can't get enough of it. I put it on before I go to bed. I put it on before I go to work so it can like marinate underneath in my mask while I'm on the bus. So my lips are nice and plumpy and just like delicious and smooth. I am a really, really picky human, really picky human when it comes to my chapstick and I just find this to be amazing. Okay, this is the Jersey Shore. Shout out from Jersey, sitting in Jersey right now as I film this video. This is their Moisture Rich Hydrating Balm in Watermelon. It is so freaking good. Ingredients are organic sunflower oil, beeswax, organic flavor, coconut oil, bunch of oils, organic things, and it feels so good on the lips. And it smells like summer. Does a beautiful job of hydrating my lips. Doesn't leave my lips wanting more. You know, like when you use a chapstick and it's like you become addicted to the chapstick because you put it on and they feel nice. And the second that it evaporates, it's like, ow, my lips hurt. Like this literally hydrates them and keeps them nice and juicy even after you're not wearing it. So, so, so good. Um, I took a hot minute off of this and I regret every second of it. I regret every second of it. The Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Boom Boom. That's how you say it, cream. I put this all over my hips, all over my booty, all over the back of my thighs, all over the tops of my thighs, anywhere where I have stretch marks and cellulite. This goes in that area. I will rub it all over my belly just to like keep that region firm. I feel like I've gotten to the point in my life where I'm not committing to anything in terms of children, but I'm thinking to myself, like if I do have children, I really want to like jutes up the midsection region this way. Like if I ever did get pregnant and like have a child, like the skin would be nice and hydrated and like ready to go, you know? So I put this everywhere, all over my midsection, all over my booty, tops of my legs. Honestly, it really helps with cellulite. I have talked about this before in my summer must-haves video. It just makes my skin look so much smoother, makes it look tighter. Like I really think it has a tightening effect. It's so good. And I can never ever go again without using it because I just, I didn't want to open a new one. I was being really lazy and I find like this smells like summer. It smells like summer. And this is just a product that I gravitate towards in the winter, which is weird. And I should gravitate towards it in the summer because that's when the sections of my body that I'm treating are out in the open, like in bikinis. I just, there's something wrong with me, but it's good whether it's summer or winter. I'm just, I'm weird in the summer. I feel like I just want to be one and done. I'm always on to the next thing in the summer because there's so much to do. So I've just been neglecting my booty and not using my booty cream. In terms of my body, I need to up my game, guys, but I'm just going to be honest. I'm going to tell you what it is that I use. I use the Aveeno Daily Moisturizing Lotion, Sheer Hydration. 
it's really sheer it's really thin and absorbs into the skin really nicely i think i'm a little too dry for this but it gets the job done i don't feel overly hydrated after using this but i don't feel greasy this has been my body lotion if you're someone that's really picky about body lotion you don't like it you get hot easily you sweat it off definitely give this a shot but i think now being 30 and me being more conscious about like my skin and its elasticity i think i'm really gonna up my game but this has been a holy grail product for me for years and years and years um i love you this has been nice for my hands at night i've always been someone that washes my hands because i just grew up with my mother who would constantly ask me every time i walked in the door did you wash your hands so i've always been a hand washer but now with like covid and just being more aware of like germs even more so on like a whole other scale my hands are just washed to the bone and I need some hydration so I've been using this this is the Sila by Celine Tedrisi I think that's how you say her name cream rose the very best cream rose 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 water enriched with canadian botanicals oils velvety body cream hydrates and softens and softens softens is it softens or softens just been putting this all over my hands it smells really pretty um and i like to put it on my hands and then get into bed so mike's like oh you smell nice even though sometimes he tells me that i smell like garbage i don't know i smell like earth i don't know what the hell that means it just tells me i have very earthy scents i'm not like a pretty scented like flowery hibiscus tangerine kind of gal i don't know what it means okay i'm married to a man that smells amazing all the time i could have just showered and he could have just worked out and he smells better than me so i try to make him say that i smell nice which works like 50% of the time. In terms of scents, I don't even like really want to talk about these. I just, I want a nice body mist at night that again, I can spritz, make him think I smell nice. I think he told me I smelled nice wearing this once. And I think he told me I smelled like I wear sunscreen when I wore this once. But these are the two that I have. Victoria's Secret Velvet Petals fragrance. It kind of just smells like a fruity, but like flowery body spray that I would drown myself in when I was in middle school and high school. So it's sentimental to me, but I feel like I need to graduate from this. So if you have one, let me know. I also tried this because I love my Boom Boom cream. So I figured why not get the matching scent, Brazilian Crush. It kind of just smells like a watered down, crappier version of my Boom Boom cream. So let me know. Body sprays, gals, let me know. Let a girl know. Let's move on to my daytime skincare routine. This will speed quick. We're almost done. We're getting to the finish line because I don't use a lot of products uh, during the day. So I wash my face in the morning using my Mario Badescu Enzyme Cleansing Gel. I've talked about it so many times here on my channel. Same kind of thing as the Soy Face Cleanser. Doesn't strip my skin of too much hydration. Doesn't leave my skin wanting more. Basically takes what it needs to take off, which is any dirt or grime my face has accumulated while I was sleeping. And just take off what it needs to take off, do its business and stay in its own lane and leave a little bit of my natural hydration alone, which I love because I'm a dry bitch. A little goes a long way. It's cheap, affordable. I will continue to buy and buy. But again, it lasts for a really long time. So I probably buy one every year and a half. Like that's how long it lasts me because I only use a little dollop, only what I need because in the morning, I really don't have anything that dire that I need to get off my face other than the skincare I apply before bed. Like there's no makeup to get rid of. You know what I'm saying? Maraud products. I love them both, but let's give them equal attention. So this is the Maraud Resurgence Rapid Collagen Infusion. So good. I love it. It's so nice. It absorbs right into the skin. I use about a pump and a half, put that all over my face, down my neck. I let that sink into my skin for a couple minutes. You know, I'll brush my teeth in the morning, do something else, just let my skin really absorb it. But this is pretty expensive, but it's worth it and I will definitely buy it again. Murad actually sent me a sensitive skin hydrating kind of serum, so I wanna try that and see how that goes, but this is beautiful. Looks beautiful under makeup, really calms my skin, and I really feel like it has helped to fill in my fine lines because I was definitely someone who couldn't find a serum during the day that wouldn't like melt and just look like crap under my makeup and this has been game changing. After that has sunk into my skin for a little bit, I go in with the Maraud Hydration Perfecting Day Cream with SPF 30. This has like a 
sweet smell, but it smells so good. And it's not overbearing. It's not like overpowering. Doesn't make me break out. I have worn this combination every single day. I've done this skincare routine every single day for the last like three months. I love this, it's so good. I rub it between my hands and then apply it all over my face, all over my neck. If you're someone that struggles with sunscreen and it just it makes you hot, too much, you know, it's just too much for you. Rub it in between your fingers to really shear it out and then apply it. I think you will have a much more enjoyable sunscreen or just any kind of face moisturizer application experience, but I will forever buy this. This is a beautiful sunscreen. I'm wearing it right now. It looks good under a full face of makeup, under a light face of makeup, and it just really juices my skin up if I'm wearing no makeup. It's just, it's so beautiful, and I love that it's just a great SPF, it's so good. And again, I use Watermelon Moisture Rich Hydrating Balm. Another product that I do wanna mention um, because I do wear a mask, I take mass transit to New York City Monday through Thursday, so I have to wear a mask for an extended period of time and I do wear my mask like indoors a lot of the time just because I like it, it makes me feel safe and it just makes me feel better. Paula's Choice Exfoliating Body Spray. I will literally take this body spray, it has salicylic acid in it so it's great for acne but also just like spray the inside of your mask. Let that dry for a bit and then go ahead and put put it on your face and it's really going to help prevent you from getting maskne. It has made such a big difference in my skin while wearing a mask. If you haven't tried it, I highly suggest that you do. I did a full video on it. I will link it up here as well as down below if you would like to check it out and I will leave it at the end credits of this video as well. But yeah, those are all of the things that I do in order to keep my skin looking the way that it does my nighttime and daytime skincare routines. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, do be sure to leave it a big thumbs up down below. Make sure that you subscribe and click that bell before you leave. Let me know down below in the comment section, what are some of your like holy grail skincare products? Let a girl know. I would love to hear it. I had a great time as always. Thank you guys so much for joining me and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys. Mwah.